plan a naval invasion of Kyushu. We're going to use the offensive core number two. Offensive core number one is at, actually trapped in the western portion of our nation. They cannot go anywhere. And confirm that. We also need to think about, so we have issues with our pops being below minimum expected standard of living in Brandenburg. I think it's because of taxes, but I also think it's because our peasant population has dropped so much that local good prices have gone up because peasants would make a good variety of many different goods that were basic needs that we no longer have buildings for, that we don't have buildings for actually in Brandenburg. So they're having issues with local prices as a result. We also, of course, has, have issues with our clothing being quite expensive, actually. It's at plus 20, 23%. We're going to need to fix that. So we need to build some textile mills. We're going to build eight textile mills in total. Hey, we got that set up already. Good deal. So basically, I was playing and I forgot to hit record again. Ugh. We actually have a shortage of ammunition. Holy shit. We need 231. Okay. So we'll put in an order for four ammunition plants. Let's do two in the Aurora. Well, three, and then one in Silesia. I think that'll be good. We don't really need those spread out, I don't think. Although maybe the barracks have like local prices. Oh well, we'll, we'll do with it. We'll leave it as it is. We also have engine problems. Very interesting. So we need to get some motor industries built. That'll be 40 each. So it's about five motor industries to meet demand. We're building one. So let's build four more. One, two, three. There we go. Now I do also happen to know that we might have a bit of an issue with our convoys here in a second. So let's do one, two, three. One, two, one. I'll finish the railways first, and then the naval bases, and then the ports, and then the text textile mills after that. Although I think doing munition plants sooner might be a better idea. Yeah, let's push all the textile mills to the bottom. There we go. I really like that you can see the fleets moving around the map. Unfortunately, Japan can actually reach far enough logistically to the North Sea. I don't think there's actually a limit on how far your fleets can go so far in Victoria 3. There should be, but there's not. So they're going to go actually raid our convoys up here. We got rubber mastication. Very nice. We can do rubber now, but I don't think we have anywhere that we want to do that really. And there's not much demand for it. We have a trade agreement request from Great Britain. Not going to take that. And now we, be we begin the many, many fights in the C node right here. And for some reason, we might have some major issues with actually like landing our troops. It's weird. I'm not sure how the sea battles is supposed to work. I know you're supposed to get like naval superiority in the sea node so that you can land your ships. Like the battles never completely end. They often fight for just a moment and then they like they, they run away. See how the battles are going back and forth super fast? I'm wondering if that's a bug. Like it has to be, right? The battles keep ending so early. I'm wondering if we'll never be able to land, actually. And we're beating their navy down pretty effectively. We have media endorsements for homesteading. The Voice of Danzig, a popular newspaper read by the Petit Bourgeoisie class across Prussia, has published an article by Wolfgang Waldschmidt advocating for the inaction of homesteading. Well, I think we go ahead and just accept it. We don't want to make the Petit Bourgeoisie stronger. I'm not really interested in doing that. Let's just get homesteading enacted sooner. Come on, man. We gotta be able to push through this at some point in time. They gotta give up. It said in the patch... Oh, did they... I think we got them finally. Good deal. Alright, here we go. Naval landing. We have way more offense than they have defense. They should be using irregulars. Oh yeah, we stopped them. Goodness. And another battle here. And obliterated... The Junkers have decided to try to start a revolution, but they'll never get there. They just don't have enough radicalism, that's all. So, uh, are we landing or what? And can I send these, like, dudes out to a sea node? Does it work like that? Oh, we have 78% landing progress so far. Okay. 
So we cleared out the ocean and now we need to establish the beachhead with a number of different battles actually. Can you go to the sea node? You cannot go to directly to the sea node. Okay. We're going to have to have offensive core number two just hold the line as usual. That's always what happens. You end up needing to hold the line. Oh, we're in, I think. All right, let's see if the Japanese maybe will, you know, give up. Not yet. Okay. All right, now we can actually send a few more troops here. I highly doubt that we'll actually need them. But let's send the armies anyway. We'll send Defensive Core 1 and Defensive Core 3. Offensive Core number 2 should be set to defend, and we shall await reinforcements. Holy crap, down to two, minus 2,000 uh, from supply routes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, we need ports. Lots and lots of ports. We're building one more port. That's going to give us 150 convoys. I need about like 15 ports in order to supply that many convoys. So let's put that at the top of the queue. Jesus, there's no available labor in Schleswig Holstein. What about, you know, we have plenty in Pomerania. So Pomerania, plenty in West Prussia. So we should do West Prussia as well. That is a total of 12. We need like three more. Let's do it in East Prussia. Honestly, let's just take them to the top. We need all the convoys that we can get. We do not have a, enough coastline. <laughs> hey, 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 we got pan-nationalism. What we're going to research next is going to be improved fertilizer to make our grain cheaper so that our people's lives is easier that are not peasants. We need to make the peasants' lives kind of miserable here, but not too, too hard. Otherwise, they will rebel. We need to give them alternative jobs. Oh, I need to make some of those ports in my colonies. We'll go ahead and we'll just include those into the rest, but not have them be ahead of our actual ports. All right, so now that we got pan-nationalism, surely we should be recognized as a unification candidate, right? The game is very, very, very bad at telling me what it is that I need to do. Like, this doesn't really tell me what I need to do. Hovering over Unification Candidate doesn't tell me what the conditions are for it. It just tells me that, oh, there are conditions based on what country you are. Okay. I mean, obviously, you would think there would be conditions. And there's still no diplomatic play here that has anything to do with being a Unification Candidate or having a leadership Apparently, the leadership play war against Austria is under the culture tab. How the hell am I supposed to know that it's under the culture tab? Nation formation. Germany. Launch unification play, gotcha. So you can launch leadership play, okay. But we're already fighting, of course. Right. So let's wrap up the Japan problem. And then deal with Austria. Oh yes, let's do our absolute very best to... We don't want Russia. Uh, it's too late to improve with Russia. Let's hope that they don't side against us. We do need to improve with other people. Can't improve with France. We're improving with Finland. Don't do that. Don't do Norway. Don't do Mexico or Portugal. The heck? Uh, we already have France topped off. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's improve with two Sicilies. Uh, not Egypt. We might invade Egypt. Let's improve with the USA. We won't improve with Mexico, actually. I think I'd rather lower relations with them. Let's improve with the British Raj to keep them off our backs. I'm actually not sure what to do about the Chinese. Let's look how they've set up their economy. So they still have traditionalism and mercantilism. So let's take a look at their market here. They don't have a priority set on grain for import or export, so that's okay. And silk. So they don't go either way either. So that's what I mostly care about. I guess we can continue to be cooperative with the Chinese. The Austrians really, I mean, not the Austrians, the Ottomans really want to love us. I have no interest in doing that though, Otto, bro. I think we, maybe we improve with Brazil to not get in, well, they don't like Peru, Bolivia, I'm pretty sure. Well, they're neutral actually, they might get in the way. 
We could improve. Well, it's not. Mm, I can take all these dudes super easily. It's not a problem. Honestly, I'm not sure that we should use our influence. We do get more infamy decay if we don't use it. So let's not use too much. Let's take off two Sicilies. But we'll leave the Raj. We'll leave the Dutch East Indies. They, may they might actually get in the way. Same thing with the USA. We're actually going to get hit from behind on this front if I'm not careful. I need my secondary people to arrive, but it's going to be a little while. They need to take their sweet little time. Yeah, with the tax increase, we're back up to 76.9% of props below minimum expected standard living in Brandenburg. We do need to push that back down. We may need to simply reduce the amount of construction that we are doing, or just suck it up until the war is over. Because it's mainly because the war is going on right now that we're having issues. Especially with the friggin' convoy deficit that we have. Since I didn't realize we needed so many convoys for supply routes to our armies. Well, we were not yet a true naval power. I had to learn one way. It looks weird, like he's still in the water. He's not actually on the land or something. And the number keeps going up and down a lot. I'm wondering if naval invasions are like really glitchy right now. We might not need that many ports actually. We are quite no. How many ports do we have left to build? Quite a few. We might be okay on convoys. Let's continue to build the ones that are in progress. And we shall also build the ones that are in the colonies. Alright, all the boys are here. That I wish to send here. I'm not going to send even more and wreck my convoys. No, thank you. Maybe the demand for convoys caused a lot of our members of our customs union to switch their dock production methods. I'd like to send you all over to this front down here. Advance, advance. Alright, everybody here, you're now going to advance together. We shall push as one army. Even the defensive, well, they're all defensive cores, actually. <laughs> yeah, we destroy them. No problems whatsoever. We are taking them over so rapidly. Alright, convoys are going positive, thankfully. I think I would like to keep a good surplus of convoys in the future. Alright, Japan, you should be done. There we go, right? Yep, Japan is now open. And just like that, our budget situation is fixed, as well as our convoy situation. Everybody should be standing down. Does look like we need to actually station this navy in the North Germany headquarters. If I can get away with it, I'd like to move Offensive Corps number 1 over to North German HQ. Yes, there we go. So hopefully we can have access to them later on. Their standard of living just dropped quite a bit. How about their GDP? It went down quite a bit as well. Population has actually started to decline. And their strategy now is actually industrialize, promote liberal reforms, and maintain balance of power. Very cool. Looks like the Shogunate hasn't fallen apart yet. We'll see what happens over time. Was there a reason to force Japan to open its markets? Not really. I don't think there's anything here that we want to actually like buy from them. Although they do have really cheap dyes, I would love to say hello to Japanese dyes. Thank you very much. I'll take those. All right, Japanese dyes, how big are you going to go to? Surely, surely it will tell me here what the prediction is for growth. Level five. Wonderful. Very wonderful. You got anything else, Japan, that I'd like to have? Cheap sugar. I would like to import some sugar, perhaps. Our sugar is actually already pretty cheap. So, never mind. Let's actually take a quick look at our considerable import demand. So, wood, clothes, engines, etc. Not too surprised about these. Considerable export is some fairly nice choices. I don't want to make liquor more expensive for my people. Their lives are already hard enough. The standard of living just shot way up, though. Wow. I wonder what the hell happened there. I guess we just stopped being at war. Maybe that is what did it. But uh, that's not going to be uh, true for much longer. You know what? Uh, shit, man. Let's do some more laws. So we have a movement for presidential republic now. The issue with that is that if we go away from monarchy, the devout get pretty upset. Yeah, the devout get radicalized no matter which one of these we pick. Sadly, having uh, that communist leader would have been really, really helpful at this point in time. Really, really helpful. Other than that, maybe we can think about 
there's no way we actually if we can get total separation that'll start making the devout weaker that does reduce the amount of authority that we get though what else could we hit these guys i think we need to do a dedicated police force next the only people that oppose it are the junkers so let's do that one and then we'll jack up our investment in the i could just jack up the investment right now in our police yeah let's let's do it now because it takes time in that time we should be able to get dedicated police force passed i'd like to get rid of our little budget deficit here by having more taxes but a lot of our pops are doing much better now maybe it's just because we have like two million servicemen or something ridiculous and that's like a huge like 10 percent of our population i'm not joking by the way we have 1.7 million service members that means that we employ 7.8% of our population as soldiers. That is really impressive. Like, that's actually absurd, let's be honest. Oh, I need to upgrade to general training. Let's do that. It also does not affect their, like, organization levels by switching these training methods. I do think that they will need to, like, recruit some more people, though. We actually have 17.1 thousand pounds of unrealized taxes. Average tax waste 12%. Bohemia slash Vig Holstein. Gotcha. It's probably got something. Yeah, turmoil. That's the problem there. Okay. So getting police is going to help us quite a bit with that. Oh boy, we have the City of Plenty. Prominent members of Silesia High Society have luxurious parties. Well, we can either have more of them become loyalists or we can have more more of them become loyalist extra more in exchange for some more some higher expected standard of living so in silesia how are the upper strata doing they're doing really good we should say the party will never end they are well ahead of their minimum expected standard of living and radicals are finally dropping for once oh and we have grassroots support for the law let's go with what let's go with I could make the petite bourgeoisie stronger, but I'm not sure I really want to do that. We could just make 20% of lower strata pops in North Orion become more loyalists. Let's do that. That brings us up 200,000 people in loyalists. Wow. We have a popular playwright endorsing the reform. I think I will actually take the extra enactment success, success chance here. And hey, hey, we got improved fertilizer. Now this is going to increase our demand for fertilizer because we don't also get a improvement of fertilizer production on the livestock ranches that we got beforehand. Now fertilizer, how are we looking on fertilizer? Actually kind of expensive, okay. We would gain a lot more money by upgrading our rye plantations. I think I'd like to go ahead and do that. That will increase our demand for fertilizer, but we'll address that problem. So let's do that now. And that increases our demand for fertilizer by like what? We're at minus 679 in terms of balance. We produce 90 per level. That means that to meet the fertilizer demands that we have at the moment, we need to build 7.5 fertilizer plants, but we also need some extra. So I should probably build 8 fertilizer plants total. We'll just sort by earnings here, and then we'll build eight. Although I need to switch this to peasants, not job seekers. All right, so we're actually running out of some peasants in our very industrialized centers. Interesting. Alrighty, eight fertilizer plants are ordered. That will increase our demand for sulfur by, should be like 240. So let's go check on the sulfur market real quick. Sulfur is actually pretty damn cheap, so let's not worry about that one at all. And then there's iron as well, which is also pretty cheap, so we're not going to be too concerned about it. And we shall continue to produce as much as humanly possible, especially in terms of grain. All right, after that, what do we want to do? Let's see if there's any other tier two stuff that we need to just like knock out. We could get ironclad actually. Ooh steamships for shipyards steel hulls for military shipyards i'm very interested in getting that but we're going to get it naturally in a second 
And then Jun Nicole allows the naval base max level. No, thank you. I think we have pretty much all the tier two stuff except for organized sports, which we're going to get in about one to two weeks. All right, so all we have left is tier three. I might want to go with socialism next. Civilizing mission is pretty good though to lead down to malaria pre prevention to remove all effects from severe malaria. That'd be pretty nice if we want to do some more colonization. It depends how much colonization is left to do though. There's also mutual funds for more minting and low in interest rate, plus all these publicly traded things right here, and commercialized agriculture. That's a very capitalist heavy. I looked it up and apparently you get market access price impact from zeppelins and you also get it from macroeconomics in addition to joint well no not joint stock companies it's it's stock exchange that that's right so those are the three technologies unless i misread the wiki that actually improve your market access price let's actually take a moment to check out Africa and the rest of the world and see what's going on in terms of colonization. So we still have a bunch of the inside desert areas. I'm not sure that these places can, well surely they must be colonizable. I'm not sure what you would want to do here, although there is coal and sulfur. Coal and sulfur, but they've got basic malaria. I could try to get in there through Sarari? Sor I have no idea how to say that. We're actually not making any progress. We have no active interest in Senegal, really. Please come back, thank you. And oh yeah, we lost. Oh wait, these guys never revolted in this one, okay. In my other playthrough, these two guys revolted. Okay, so that'll fix my interest there. I do have a few more interests that I can now set for some reason. It has to do with like Navy power projection, which is based around flotilla count. So I am interested in North Africa. I don't think I can establish a colony there. Yeah, Morocco has a claim. Gotcha. There's a tiny little space right here to get into Central Africa. They do have severe malaria here, but I can get a toehold and I can push in from there. I could also, of course, just invade one of these dudes. Oh wait, that's an actual nation. Never mind, never mind. There's plenty of spots to go. Luango, Fang. Now these places, I do think they have some pretty good, yeah, some really nice dyes, cotton, coffee, lots of really good stuff. Lots and lots of really good stuff. Yeah, as far as I can tell, the only way that we have into Africa now is through West Africa, well, I mean Central Africa right here. We're already pushing into Herero and Nama. We could also push into Fang and Loango. We just need to set up an interest first. So we'll set up an interest in the Congo. Now you might be saying I'm spreading my colonial power too thin, which might be true, but I just want to get as many little toeholds as I can. To make that faster, we could go down straight towards getting rid of severe malaria. But now I need to think about, we have all these production things as well. And I love production. Steam donkey for coal mines. Uh, you know what, I think it's going to be, I like that play too much. Like everything else, I don't think it matters nearly as much. We're quite far away from getting to trench works, which is the next infantry unit. Let's go ahead and let's actually push. Oh, well, Larry prevention would take nine years. Ow, 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 ow. That is painful. Never mind. we're not going to push that hard. <laughs> we will, however, do civilizing mission to get more colonial affairs institution investment. I think that's a good play. That'll take us 25 months. We do have one more interest. Let's declare it in Brazil. So now we're interested in all of South America. And we are indeed very interested in all of South America. Got the ironclad. Wonderful. So now this ironclad. And let's just use them at fishing wharves and whaling stations. That unlocks the military unit ironclads. And it leads to some more techs. Okay, so we can't upgrade our ports yet. Do I intend to go to war with somebody that is navally capable soon? The answer to that is maybe. I really think we kind of have to do the leadership play with Austria now, though. Man, our millet farms are getting beat. I could actually go backwards in terms of meat production, and it would be it would be better 
for my livestock ranches, but it would be worse for my, pop my population in general. So we're just not going to do that. I am starting to have issues with population use, so I really do need to actually start doing like rail transportation everywhere I can. Pretty sure I got railways everywhere I can build them. Yeah, everybody's got some. The issue is that the local price of transportation is constantly in demand. They're actually doing pretty good in Westphalia. A lot of places, though, they don't produce nearly enough transportation. Millet farms, they don't use tools. Well, use tools, dude. Well, this is new. So it would have one millet farm having very low productivity. Let's think about that then. It says it would make more money. And yeah, this one too. So, okay, no problem then. Apparently we can get away with increasing the price of fertilizer even more by switching wheat farms to fertilizer. So let's do that. And let's also do... That, but there won't actually be enough qualifications to staff the millet farms. Let's do it anyway. We're probably going to end up with a borderline fertilizer shortage, but the market will react. Our other market members will build fertilizer factories and so on. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, we got homesteading, so obviously our population standard of living is going to increase. Very good. I'm very happy about that. Although they want to remain peasants forever, that may not be a good thing. Oh, we can upgrade our fertilizer production. Awesome. Let's do that right now. Yeah. I could do military ship. No, let's not do the ironclad thing yet. Let's leave it alone. Shipyards. I might want to start splitting these dudes. Let's look at the fishing wharves and see if it's worth it. going upgraded on the production level. No, it's not. There's not enough demand. So we're not going to start doing steamships quite yet. Let's see how that shakes out in the economy. Is a secession in North India, really? Ah, uh, a very small secession, nothing major. Oh, apparently the French got a war against Mandinka. So we are now done with our colonies in West Africa until we decide to take them from the French. Which we're probably going to do at some point in time. We just got to deal with the Austria problem. We got organized sports for plus 10% prestige. And we're making pretty good... Oh, genesis of the Venezuelan culture. Interesting. Socialism is spreading. Alright, we weren't the first to get socialism. That's okay. I'm actually kind of wondering now if I can look at the list of agitators and perhaps find out who... Like, where is our boy Karl Marx at? These are exiled dudes. I probably can't see a list of all the agitators, can I? How the hell are you supposed to find people in this game, man? I wish there was some easy way to tell where communism had started. Great British trade unions are actually at 2.9%. Interesting. I think our trade unions are higher than that. Russian trade unions are non-existent, so communism did not start in Russia. I wonder if it... maybe it's just waiting. We do need to improve relations with all these little dudes here. Actually, huh. So Bavaria stopped supporting us for some reason. As unification candidate, that's whatever. We'll be the only one soon enough. I really want to get this friggin' deficit under control, though. More defensive pact offers that we're absolutely positively not going to take, although we might do that with Bavaria or other people if we need to like convince them to support us in the future. Alright, dedicated police force is almost done, I can feel it. We have war profiteering. Pacifists led by Moritz von Holstein Gottorp are protesting against the weapons manufacturing in Aurora. If you just heard that name, war get like messed up, although the AC is not on. And my air conditioner messes with my audio recordings unfortunately. I got like a NVIDIA voice processor that kind of removes that kind of thing, but it can be a little bit aggressive. I've toned it down a bit, so hopefully that sounded better. But you might also hear the background more. We're not going to stop production. Like 100%, we're not going to do it. No, thank you. You can be upset. This is Prussia, man. We don't do that here. You know, before I continue all these engines, I just realized I should double check to see if anybody built some in other places and indeed they did so let's not build all those motor industries that we were going to build oh we got a few more uh let's go ahead and build the ones that have progress we'll finish those up what about clothing maybe maybe clothing got better Nah, we still need a lot of clothing same thing with fertilizer plants i bet fertilizer is yeah it's decently expensive minus 530 
Let's see if we can't push anybody else into doing fertilizer. No, it looks like that is it. So that should be the demand for fertilizer, at least for a little while. Unless we build explosives, of course.